I am Anil Kumar sharing with you solution of question number 16, page 98, Nelson, Vectors and Calculus. And I hope this will help my subscribers also along with my students who have requested the solution. The question here is, the position of an object moving on a line at time t seconds is given by s of t equals to t over t square plus 8. Determine when the object changes direction. The key thing to understand here is that we are given displacement, right? So, so displacement derivative is velocity. So to find velocity at any instance of time, we need to find derivative of displacement. That is first thing. Second, when we talk about changing direction, that means we are looking at turning point, right? So we are looking at turning point. That is change in direction, right? So at a turning point, what happens? So at any turning point, let me write TP for turning point. At any turning point, velocity, I should say V of T, will be equal to zero. So that will give you a point where there is a possibility, I should say, possibility of changing direction, of changing direction, right? These are important things which I would like you to note. So there is a possibility. Why am I saying there is a possibility? Since at times object may stop and then move forward, right? It may not change the direction. Do you see that? I mean that is displacement graph. So I'm just showing you a displacement graph, S of T, right? Here if you find horizontal tangent here, it necessarily will not show you change in direction, right? On the other hand, if the displacement graph is kind of like this, do you see that? Then there are two changes in directions, two points, right? So you have to be careful when you answer such questions. You find when is velocity zero and also test whether it really changes from negative to positive or positive to negative. With this in mind, I think you are in good position to solve this particular question. So find the derivative, equate to zero, solve the question, and then check with my solution. Here is my solution. So to find velocity, we'll take derivative, and to take derivative, we'll apply the quotient rule. So the quotient rule, as you remember, which is, let me write down here, the quotient rule is, so if you are trying derivative of, of I mean, u over v, derivative in that case we are looking for v square in the denominator derivative of u times v minus u times v derivative correct so we'll apply this formula find the answer so denominator is t square plus 8 whole square numerator will be derivative of t is 1 so so we get just t square plus 8 minus derivative t times derivative of this will be 2t, right? So that is the numerator, which is, let us solve for this, t square plus 8 minus 2t square, and we'll equate this to 0 to find time when the velocity is 0, right? So t square plus 8 whole square. Now, denominator is always positive. For 0 velocity, numerator should be 0, right? So we'll solve for this t square minus 2t square, uh, let me write this as 0 equals to 8 minus t square, or bringing t here and then square rooting, or we could say t square equals to 8, or let me solve it further on the right side, right? So what we get here is t equals to plus minus square root of 8, right? Now that gives us uh, plus minus 4 times 2 or 2 square root 2 is is the time. So there are two possible times when this function could change the direction. Now we are not really given whether uh, whether the time is greater than 0 or not. So that is not given to us. Let's find the decimal value of 2 square root of 2. Uh, decimal value is 2.8 8 so which is which is equals to plus minus 2.828 right so so that is that is the equation for us now
Now what we can check here is that this particular equation t square minus 8 if you kind of sketch this there are a couple of ways to do it if you sketch this v of t equals to uh, 8 minus because the denominator is positive right so the numerator is going to be 0 at at 2 square root 2 and uh, and if I sketch this kind of let me sketch it here so we just bring this parabola is upside down at 2 so it's kind of like this so this is the this is this part I'm not sketching this divided by this remember that part okay I'm just sketching the numerator part right since the denominator is always always positive correct so these are the points which we are checking for square root 2 this is positive square root 2 this is negative square root 2 and you can see the velocity changes from positive to negative here and negative to positive in that so so direction changes for both times right now since we are not really given whether t is greater than or equal to 0 I'm writing two answers so my answers for the object changing direction will be t equals to plus and minus 2 square root 2 seconds at a time t seconds is given by this so so the, it is not t seconds after some time so we are using both as our solution points in this particular case I'll also recommend you to see one of my videos where purposely we have made an equation where the direction does not change at the zero right so that is a caution for you I hope that helps thank you and all the best